In these boxes, we've got the Bluetti AC300 and the B300 home battery backup system. Let's get them open and take a look inside. Bluetti are sponsoring this video, but comments and opinions are all my own. First of all, we are going to unbox the AC300 power station. Inside the box, you get a bag of cables, inside of which is an AC power cable, a cable for charging from a car cigarette lighter port, and also a cable for connecting a solar panel to. You also get a warranty card, and a very comprehensive set of instructions written in English and German. You also get this, which is a kind of a trophy, a thank you for supporting the LAAF program, which is the Lighting and an African Family Award. What Bluetti want to do is for every AC300 sold, they want to light up an African family by supplying them with a solar home lighting system. On the right, you have a vent. On the back is the label and nothing much else. On the left hand side, you have two ports to connect external batteries to. Another air vent. You also have the power input sockets, including one for AC, one for solar and the car charger, and a communication interface. On the front you have a 12 volt 30 amp socket. This is mainly for connecting motorhomes and campers or RVs to. Then you have a 24 volt to 10 amp socket. Now this looks exactly like a 12 volt socket that you might find in a car to light your cigarettes with. However, it says here 24 volt output only, don't mix with 12 volts. Over here you have a USB-C 100 watt port, two USB-A 5 volt 3 amp ports, and two USB-A 18 watt ports. Along the bottom you have six AC connectors. So you can power your fridge, your freezer, your hair dryer, your, your, your slow cook, your washing machine, and a lawnmower. Wow. Then you have the on button, and the touchscreen display. And on the top you have two wireless charging pads. The AC300 has a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter with a 6000 watt peak power and it weighs 21.6 kilograms which is about 47 and a half pounds. And with the two handles it makes picking it up fairly easy. But it is still heavy though. To charge it, you've got several options. You can charge it using the car cigarette lighter port in your car, uh, or you can charge it so with solar up to a massive 2,400 watts. That is an awful lot of solar panels. Uh, or you can do uh, a combination of solar and AC uh, up to 5,400 watts there, so that is like a fast dual charging. However, since it's raining outside and I don't have that much solar panels, uh, I'm going to be using the traditional AC socket and uh, just charge it from the wall, pad, wall plug. It's very easy to plug in. Uh, you have a dot here on the socket and you also have a dot on the plug. So you just line them up, push it in and tighten this up. So that is now nice and secure and that is not coming out. But before I do charge it, let's take a look at the B300 battery pack. In the box you get a warranty card, a user manual in two languages, English and German, a solar power cable, and this whopping very thick cable for connecting it to the AC300 or another battery. On the right hand side, well we've just got some labels, no vent. On the back, again no vent. On the left hand side you have all your inputs. So over here you have two battery connectors and of course one of them will connect to the AC300. 
This port here allows you to connect a solar panel or a cigarette lighter car accessory port. And this port here allows you to connect a power adapter which is sold separately which you can plug into a wall socket. On the front you have a 12 volt car outlet port, a USB-C 100 watt port, a USB-A 18 watt port. Now this does have some power in so if I turn it on you'll see the display here that tells you how much power is left in the battery. At the moment it's around 80%. The B300 weighs just over 36 kilograms which is 79 and a half pounds. Ugh. Yeah and even though it's got the two handles that is very heavy. The B300 has a 3072 watt hour capacity LIFEPO 4 battery inside. It can be charged in several ways including using an uh, sole separately a power adapter which plugs into the wall socket, a the cigarette lighter cable and uh, a maximum of 200 watts of solar panels or solar power uh, or you can use solar and AC for super fast dual charging up to 700 watts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into the AC300 so that will work and then we can start charging them both together. Right. Do you think this box will actually hold? Oh, look at that. It's quite snug on there. It doesn't uh, move. It's kind of, it's like Lego. So that just pushes in. And then you can lock it. And on the bottom, again, you just push that in. And then you lock it. Looks kind of uh, out of place, doesn't it? This huge cable, but there's lots of juice going through that cable, so it has to be thick. And you can't really bend that amount of cabling, really. So it just makes sense. Right, well, it's just dawned on me. This doesn't have any battery in it. This is, is the only source of battery that this kit has. I thought there was some battery in here, but apparently not because that's why it didn't turn on earlier because it w and even when I plug it into the wall socket, it doesn't turn on. You need this to make it work. So I press the on button here, the battery turns on and eventually after a few seconds, the display comes on and it says it's 62%. So that would make sense because these four out of five dots represent 60 to 80 percent. So I've set it up, well I hope I've set it up correctly, so that it will only charge off of the AC, that's the wall socket, between the hours of midnight to five in the morning because that is when I have a night rate of my, my electricity and that is a lot cheaper than my day rate. So hopefully it won't take so much to charge it up. But let's see what happens. It's just gone half past seven in the evening and I thought I'd just check up on the AC300, see if it's charging yet. Because I'm not entirely sure if I've done these those settings right. Um, I've got an app here and it says it is 58% earlier. It said it was 62%. So the battery is being drained for some reason. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have anything plugged into it. Um, but the AC is, is actually plugged in. So later on, we'll find out if it's actually charging the AC 300. It's now 12 o'clock. Oh, there it goes. Just had a click. Oh, there we are. It's now beeping at me for some reason. Oh, it didn't work. So the alarm is battery voltage high, voltage sensor failure. So I had a hardware fault with it. And every time I would try to charge it, it kept coming up with the same codes. I even updated the firmware, which uh, seemed to solve it, but the device had problems elsewhere, such as it, kept, it seemed to keep losing charge the percentage would uh, drop day after day. Cut a long story short, they sent me another system, the, the AC300 and the B300, 
and of course my garage is now getting very full which of course I had to unwrap again and do an unboxing again and this time I brought it inside just to keep an eye on it which was a struggle because I live in a flat and my front door leads up some stairs to the living area but of course that B300 is very heavy to be lugging up some stairs well this is the new one that they sent me and using the app I'm going to see what happens when I plug it into the wall socket at the moment it says 65 percent okay so it is actually doing something now when I upgraded the last one uh, it, it did this for about 30 seconds and then jump from 55% battery charge all the way up to 100. So something was not quite right there. And what I really wanted to do was charge it in the evening where, while my electricity rate was cheaper. Of course, that never happened. So I might give this five minutes and then I will set it up so that it will charge tonight after 12 o'clock. Everything seems fine and I haven't upgraded the firmware on this yet. That's looking good. I like that. At the beginning of this video, I thought I was unboxing a power supply, a power station. And indeed it is, except that is really a home backup system with an uninterruptible power supply or UPS. The idea is that you can plug this in and connect it to your domestic power supply using the Bluetti sub panel, which is sold separately. You can set it to charge and discharge at different times of day meaning that if you can charge it during an off-peak rate or even via solar off your roof and then you can store that energy and use it when the uh, when the electricity rate is actually at peak so you can get cheaper or even free electricity and if you have a power cut this will take over with a 20 millisecond delay so your house is then running off of batteries. If you don't use a sub panel to connect to your domestic power supply then you can also just plug it into the wall and then plug other things into it and then you still have a UPS system. So you could put say for instance a fish tank on it or even something like a medical device so you don't want to get that in uninterrupted supply of power. The AC300 supports up to four B300 battery packs and of course as long as you've got the payload and the space you can use this in a motorhome even with the sub panel plugged in and connected to your solar panels as well you'll have uninterrupted power supply and uh, even when you put plug into the electric hookup of a campsite they could be charging it too so we could drive around and have constant electricity so how much does it cost well the AC 300 with a B 300 as it comes as a package is three thousand pounds so it is not cheap but it does come with a four-year warranty so what do I think of it I think it's a fantastic idea uh, but Again, it's space and weight for me. I can't put it in my motorhome. I don't even I don't even think it'll fit in through the door, let alone, you know, where is it going to stay? Where is it going to be left? It is expensive, but if you've got solar panels on the roof of your home, you can get yourself free electricity and store it. And of course, with the UPS system, you can get uninterrupted power supply in case you have a medical emergency or you have that fish tank. So, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this has been useful and you've enjoyed watching it. If so, give us a thumbs up. Bye-bye.